Hey guys, Cheech with Fly Fish Food here. We are messing around with all kinds of pieces of fur with leather on the back of it. We're here to show you a dubbing rake. This is the way to make the very best, most buggy dubbing you've ever used. We're gonna show you how to properly use one of these bad boys right now. Okay, we are here to show you dubbing rakes. Lots of different dubbing rakes on the market. This is one of the newest ones from Hairline. And it's awesome because it's got kind of a sharp little claws here that are going to pull out just the right amount, but not too much. Anyway, the cool thing about a dubbing rake is you can take any piece of fur that you have, even a zonker strip, and pull out dubbing out of it. Mostly used with the hair's mask. Um, the cool thing about using a rake, let's say for a hair's ear, is... Um, you can get different colors and bugginesses of dubbing off of this just by using the rake. So I got some kind of, you know, buggy dubbing that's darker. I got some kind of doesn't have a lot of guard hairs and really light. And then some really, really buggy short stuff off of this one pelt. Okay. So on a rabbit, if I wanted the light stuff, I just find the light side of the pelt or the light part of the pelt, like the cheek, and I could just come in here, scrape my rake along here, and it pulls out dubbing. Okay, this stuff I got way up here on the ear. So if you've ever wonder why it's called a hare's ear, it's because usually this is the part of the rabbit that they would get the really buggy, nice dubbing from. And then if you really wanted to get serious, you come in here with scissors, cut out some of the guard hairs for the tail. But anyway, lots of different consistencies you can get here. Um, squirrel, I find that some of the best squirrel dub just comes from, from the old dubbing rig. So I can just come in here and just take some squirrel, brush it, and you've got a lot of guard hairs in there. And again, you know, there's a little brown strip in the middle of the squirrel. It gets a little more gray over here and even white on this side. So I can, you know, pinch, you know, if I uh, came in here and just got it on the gray side, pick that out, you'll be able to see that there are two totally different colors of dubbing from that one piece. All right, and then this is, this is actually a patch of beaver fur. Good for dry flies, I can just kind of come in here and use the tool, get some of that, has a little bit of guard hair in it, mix that up with your fingers, and it's going on a fly. You can just dub that up with the guard hairs right in it because as soon as you dub a guard hair, it sticks right out. You can just pull it out after you've dubbed it. But anyway, dubbing rake is an absolute awesome tool. This one's a high-end one from Hairline. You can get, them, get this one for, I think it's 47. There are all kinds of other uh, uh, dubbing rakes out there, but uh, play with that technique. It'll make your flies super buggy and fishy.